All right, once again, back here, uh, 2018 Austin City Limits Music Festival. It's Austin City Limits Radio. Chris Mosier here. The members of Arizona have arrived. What's up? Ah, yes, we have. It's uh, Zach and Nate and David, and I uh, was trolling back through your Twitter feed, and there are a few unique things, uh, I think, about your ACL experience, one of which is you got to play at a Chipotle. Yes. That is true. That we, did, we, did, we played actually at the chipotle itself it wasn't like a um yeah it was like in a chipotle it was pretty wild very nice uh, th- now austin is one of those towns where we have so much live music going on that sometimes the trick is just is to avoid the live music and chipotle is one of those places where you might go if you don't want to hear a band <laughs> did, did you have people in the chipotle who were shooting you a little bit of shade we uh, we, we had a bachelorette party come through yeah and they kind of so it was it was like an after hours show after chipotle closed and they had like chips and guac there yeah. and drinks and this bachelorette party straight up came in ate the chips and left <laughs> it was pretty good you know like there was like a couple instances like that where we were like i wonder who's here for the free guac <laughs> and i wonder who's here for the for the show. For the jams. Yeah. For the jams. We've got some yeah. buddies that play with Blood Orange, yeah. and they thought that Chipotle was open, and then they found us in there, and they were like, you like, guys are you playing here right <laughs> now? Like, what are you guys doing here? Like, we were, we're like, just we're trying to playing. Get some yeah. That's real cool. You know, we, we aim to keep things interesting. Uh, of course, rolling up here, uh, we've got the, it's it's not a bunny suit. It's not. It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn suit, yeah. and it's a little, a little bit muggy. It's not too hot out here yet, but explain, please. Uh, I went to Target, and I was going through the Halloween costumes, and this caught my eye, and I looked at it, and I said, wow, what would be cooler than playing ACL in a unicorn onesie? <laughs> so I bought it. Wonderful. And we also, you know, the, the uniqueness continues is that we have one of the very few uh, and absolutely fearless mustaches that we're going to see in the, in, in the, the entire... Mm-hmm. I am... Wow, yeah, that's, uh, that's possibly the most wonderful and accurate thing anyone has ever said about my mustache very, i appreciate that very so very nice great, yeah. is there taking a mustache like this on tour <laughs> are there considerations care and proper training of the mustache uh you know it it, it sort of just uh, grows itself i think you know uh, anyone out there who's trying to, to to grow a mustache and and do it the right way and, and keep it keep it keep it all work keep it professional keep it happy right? yeah. um you know cut it at the corners of your mouth right yep don't let it get too bushy just kind of feather it Cut at the corners of your mouth, and then uh, you know don't you don't have to do a clean shave. You could just take a buzzer, no attachment, and yep. hit do, you know do the Burt Reynolds, you know. But yeah. How much time is in on this mustache? As uh, right my facial hair grows pretty quickly, so if I if I were to ever completely shave my face, it'd be back in three days, four oh, days. Very nice. Wow, yeah. that's that is superhuman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really, really as is the mustache. Very very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, the band is uh, largely centered around well, you guys met at college. Um, you're actually getting to yeah. to do for your career what you learned to do in college. Is that accurate? Or would would the band have kind been the of, same I, without well, the so, college experience? So, well, well, Dave and I grew up together in New Jersey um, from a very young age, and and uh, the Arizona band as it sits here is is maybe one half of the entire Arizona family or crew Roger. that that exists, and it's been. It's been a bunch of friends for a long time that have met at different junctions and in different ways. You know, Nate, we met Nate because he was going to school, you know, in Boston. I'd visit him, and then he was also going to school in Boston. They can kind of elaborate on that. But we just, you know, came together in different ways throughout um, a period of maybe 10 years or so and uh, all had musical backgrounds and, and production and things like that. Um, but we never did it as a band or anything. We just did it for other people. and. Uh, other things and at some point you know we we got burnt out on doing all that other stuff um, because it didn't really lead anywhere completely fruitful so before we totally gave up on the creative aspect of of life and went back to other walks that we were pursuing we just decided that we were going to make some music for ourselves just like just for fun for for a summer and it became this that's the best stuff that's the best reason to do it (laughs) is just to do it because you want to do it uh it's been a little while since a new album is there something I know you guys are about to take a little bit of time off uh, after the at the conclusion of a the, week? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's Next it. Next week we're taking off, but the album's almost done. The second album's almost oh, done. Love um, it. Yeah, we have a we have an album in the works right now. We actually just dropped three singles the past couple months. Yep. Um, uh, we wrapped up the tour with Panic at the Disco, which is pretty pretty awesome. It was like a big arena tour around yeah. the country. That was that was a great experience. Talk um, about talk about those guys. What are the, what are those guys oh, like in awesome. there? Man. 
What kind of onesies do those guys walk yeah. around in? Uh, well, there's well. actually one day where they all had onesies on. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I believe uh, I believe Brendan had the unicorn one, so I'm channeling that right now. Very nice. nice. Yeah. It was that a good was experience. Fun. You know, the, the tour the tour was great. You know, ha- having the album almost done is cool, you know, and, and having some other songs that we're going to probably try to get out at some point before the album as well is, is going to be good just to just to sort of, you know, keep that going. But there's been, like, so much behind-the-scenes stuff happening with us. Um, you know, ad- admittedly, we've been kind of taking some time just to get together as friends again and to make sure that you know the sophomore album is like this big thing for sure. a lot of for a lot of you know well, it, i mean you, you you choose to feel that pressure or not talk about that is there is there an expectation or yeah you know yeah we did feel that i think well we started working on it right after we got off of our headline tour so we like didn't really have time to be humans with each other mm. we, you know you, you're on a at that point we were in a 15 passenger van or a sprinter crammed full of dudes mm-hmm. and you're like i don't want to see any of you <laughs> yeah. for a while you know. yeah. and i think the other half of us is like wants to be so productive yeah that we forgot to just be ourselves yeah yeah or it's that you, you know it's like it's you do want to see the guys but you don't want to see them at work because our yeah. entire crew i mean the band itself but then even the entire crew they're all friends of ours from back home in jersey we loaded our entire crew with just homies from day one so like yeah. we wanted to get back to, to to being friends so we felt that pressure where like you kind of wanted to be really productive and you know you have to get the album out you know you have to keep working but at the same time you you want to make sure that you stay true to why you started so it doesn't feel different um and we struggled with that for a while which is how one of our one of our singles recently kind of came to be um it's freaking out it's called freaking out and the song is literally about our experience dealing with that which we sort of channeled um our weird you know moments of depression and anxiety and lots of you know uh these underlying mental health things that we all have into the end of the song and into the video as well the The video as well yeah well we wanted to we wanted to get other people to we did a vertical video for spotify um and we just sent out this um this message to to our followers and said hey listen like we really want to feature you guys talking about your experiences with this to sort of raise more awareness on on the fact that like you know it's like you can have a normal life and like have friends and have positive things in your life um you know that will inevitably be affected by you know these these circumstances that you're going to come into where you're going to start battling with these things that you can't control so to speak which is the, the you know anxiety and depression and things like that so we found our way to channel that with freaking out and then it became i think that that broke the wall for us to say you know we became comfortable with it we kind of faced it and now we're hanging and we, you know it, it helped us get through the rest of the album basically well, yeah. destigmatizing those those issues is a, is a big deal right now and it's a great thing that's happening so kudos for doing your part yeah. to to get that conversation going in yeah. a healthy way uh very cool what will you guys do on your week off what do you look forward to mm. i just got a n- new old car I just got a Mini Cooper, um, yeah. and I'm very excited to. <laughs> it's a stick. I haven't driven stick in a while, and so I'm very since, excited since to Pacific, yeah. roll around in. Uh, it's gonna be speeding around, speeding everywhere. It feels like a golf, uh, like a go kart, not a golf cart, a go kart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the Archer joke. He's like, "Give me a little golf cart battery." He's like, "Go kart or golf cart." Yeah. No, yeah. It almost is one, you know. Per- yeah, yeah personal week for sure. You yeah. know, um, I uh, I know that I'm probably gonna take the the week to clean the house. Yeah, I'll, you know, a lot. Maybe maybe make a fire in the fireplace and sit in my grandpa chair. Is there a favorite uh, restaurant back home that you don't get to go to when you're out on the road Ooh. that you're gonna hit? On three, ready? It's One, plug time. Two, three. John's, John's boy, boy pizza. Yeah, John's boy pizza. Oh my. Yeah, it's the best pizza in the entire world, and I, you know, you may have had good pizza and you may be proud of the pizza of where you're from um and it's no different the only difference between you being proud of your pizza and us being proud of our pizza it's same thing it's just that our pizza is better, better. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough i suppose the members of arizona y'all backstage here at the austin city limits music festival thanks are. boys thank, thank you thank you